This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can add WhatsApp chat to our WordPress website. Let's get started. Now, first of all, why do you need to add WhatsApp? Well, what's the point? There may be cases when, like for example, if you're a small business, you might want to have a direct way to contact your customers. Or if you have a resume website, maybe you want recruiters to directly message you instead of emailing. Now let's see how we can add WhatsApp. Let's head over to the plugin website that we're going to install. Click on the link in the description. Now we're here on the website. Click on download. It's going to download a zip file. Head over to dashboard, click on plugins, add new and click on upload plugin. Choose the file and click on open and install now. Now while the plugin installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now as you can see, our plugin has been activated. Let's head over to settings, click on settings. Now in here, add your WhatsApp number. Now by default, this message will be sent to you when a customer or a recruiter tries to send you a message. You can edit this. This basically means your site, your title and your URL. These are dynamic content. Now you can choose whatever image that you want. You can choose other WhatsApp images or buttons as well. Now you can change the position on screen, whether it will be left or right. For now, we will keep it right and we'll add a button delay. I want the icon to appear five seconds after the website loads. And if you want your WhatsApp button to appear only on mobile, click on this box. Or if you want to use WhatsApp web as well, click on this box. Now no need to change these settings. Just know if you want dark mode, click on yes. And header will be WhatsApp logo. And click on save changes. Click on visibility. And here you can edit the pages where the button will appear. Let's say I don't want to appear it on any other page other than front one. Let's click on this button where the eye is open and the rest will be closed. And click on save changes. Now let's visit our website. Wait for five seconds as we set the timer for five seconds. And there it is. Our WhatsApp logo has appeared. Let's click on this. And as you can see, we are redirected to WhatsApp web 
where the user can log in and chat with you. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.